And why you choose a build your house exactly here and not somewhere else on the mountain? Why did I? Well, I didn't build this house, and I was offered this house, and I didn't really have. Well, I don't know. It, it, this house is here before I didn't build it, but I was. It was a house. It was a house I used to. It used to visit people. But I used to like coming here before when the previous owners lived in here. So. I know, I didn't really particularly care to live there, because I ended up living there. So. Right, coffee time. So. Ah, My kitchen. Just recently. So. Ah, figure that, figure that, figure it. Um. Hmm. You like my little arrangement? Mm-hmm. That's a bit of a kind of museum in here. So I was, I was making puppets. You see those puppets? Um, yeah, well, uh, well, well, I can tell you. Oh, shit, I just fucking know. I just drink it. Oh, yeah. oh you just <laughs> flat me out there. I'm just going to put milk in the coffee. Oh, dear, what do I do? Well, I have to make a lot of hard Um, oh. Okay. So I'll make a coffee and I'll go. Um. And who lived before for people from um, Spain? Well, do you know, you know, there's a Japanese woman that lives just by the healing field. Mm-hmm. They, uh, just by low the bit where the big lodges. Mm-hmm. Do you know that? Yeah. She used to live here with her, her man, Benson, who was this English guy who died last year. He died at 10th, where he was very old. He used to live here. 
and I must have lived here for a few years. I don't know if there was someone here before them. But this place, I think, is, it wasn't like it used to be. It's been it's been built for longer. It's a bit like a cave. It's built like a cave. I think it's been out, it was an old shepherd's cottage or something. It was. I don't think it was built by someone from Beneficio. It's possibly like an old ruin. Like if you look inside, you'll see that there's some bits of it have. Have what you, you'll see that there's some the stonework on them has been quite. Uh, yeah, yeah. Well, you see that it looks like it's been there a long time. Um. So yeah, I been, I came here about two year, two years ago. I know it just uh, not. It's not really the it's not really the case in Beneficio that you can just like live anywhere. You can't. Well, you obviously have to be. Well, anyway, this is national park, so technically speaking, it's not legal. Um. So this is an internet place in Beneficio. It's a video? Okay, I really love Lithuania. I love videos, man. And mm. I think I go to Lithuania very soon. And uh, I marry from Lithuania and I'm I live in Lithuania. But it's cold, yeah? Yeah, yeah. So maybe I take her and Thank I go to the video. You know what I mean? Thank you like man. You know? So where are you come yeah, from? I'm sorry, man. Egypt. No. Uh, and more exactly? Where in Egypt? Uh -huh. Alexandria. You've been to Alexandria? No, never. But I would love to go. Okay, you will come very soon. Very, very soon. It's a uh, very fresh almond and uh, look how it is like this. Like this. <laughs> I come from the bloody harbour bridge, the opera house. You know? You think I'm some sort of Aboriginal? You know what an Aboriginal is? Thank you. You're welcome. I'm from Scotland. Well, I've lived in Scotland, or I'm not really Scottish either. I was born in Israel. My mother's from America, and my father's from Newcastle in England. But my family's quite mixed. But I've lived, main I've grown up in Scotland. So I was born in Israel. That, that's, I don't have a Scottish accent. Yeah, well, I came down with some people on a journey. I came down with some people on a journey. And, oh well, yeah, it's a bit of a story really. I didn't really plan to come here. I just sort of came here on a surprise sort of magical mystery tour of travelling through France, through Andorra's with two people in a van with two two friends that I'd hardly knew and three dogs went down a van along down the coast of Spain along the east coast of Spain up until Alicante then to Granada across to Granada spent a few time, days there and then then Uh, yeah, yeah, well then I came, to, uh, after being in Granada, I ended up coming to Beneficio, and then that was like ten years ago. Uh, 
times I've been here, well, I've been here, I've not been here all the time, I've been out of benefits, you know, I have travelled to other place, various places, I was back in UK for about nine months, about, that was about five years ago. I can say I'm sorry, but I don't want to lie. Ooh, skies are black and blue Thinking about you Down this broken line Maybe you will find me I find I found a reason to to choose this place because of its dryness and uh, lack of care because no one lived here there's no water source nearby and uh, I thought of the trees man <laughs> and the trees are uh, could be all watered if the rainwater is regulated yeah that means it doesn't just run downhill and get wasted in the same rain day but that it stays in sort of terraces and waters above the trees line by line so the earth would stay and have uh, enough chance for the uh, natural herbs to grow and to root over time but it needed this bit of care to regulate the rainwater first and it's a time of say now it's the third year at end of third year if i care for it for another year it's more or less on its own The idea is uh, the compatibility, compati compatibility of the person with nature. So there's a lot of destruction, a lot of uh, ill treatment. And, uh, nature cannot just be exploited on such a level. And there are people who destroy big forests in daily, uh, daily uh, on a high rate, but. If you're a human being or one person living in nature, you should be able to take care of it, uh, at least in the place where you live. So that was more the reason, the purpose. It made a meaning for living.
So I decided to build the house here because I care for life all around me at the same time. And yeah, that's about sums it all. I didn't think about all this. Life brought me here as well. So it's really nice and easy. Oh, great Neptune's ocean can wash this blood clean from my hands. Oh, little water clears us of this deep. I can't be like anyway. Ah, I need to is Okay. Is this a dagger I see before me, or is it a dagger of the mind? Ah, well, these, well, these are, these are mine. These are the ones that, these ones here are the ones that... that, that, that wait a I'd have to, it would be better if I, but these are, these are intended for a script on Shakespeare. That's uh, Macbeth, Lady Macbeth. And oh, that's one of the apparitions. I've had a go at some of it. Well, I've been using that. I haven't made a puppet for the witches, but I've been using that. Um, right. When will we three meet again? In thunder, lightning, or in rain? When the hurly burly's done? When the battle's lost and won? Upon the hills, there we meet, Macbeth, fair is foul, and foul is fair, hover through the fog and filthy air. Ah, uh, where is it? Ah, there we are. Oh, that's it. Yeah. Everyone has their own journey. Yeah. But I think <coughs> everyone comes here because it's nature. And it's relaxed from the bubble and the And then I think if I have some some little money, maybe I go to some hot island where it's warm in the winter. And Canaria, of course. Yeah, and there. You, you told yeah. that you would like to spend it. Yes, I was thinking about going to Gran Canaria. Yes, and, and I've heard other people also saying that in Gran Canaria it's very nice to spend the winter. Yeah. yeah. It's Spanish island? Yeah, Spanish island, yeah. but it's uh, near in Morocco. the heights of Africa, yeah. of Congo. Near Africa. Mm. It's near Morocco. Mm. Mm. <laughs> and Yeah, I just put a few of my paintings. If you want to see any more of my paintings, yeah. I put a Fine. few in that, do you know that shop down there, that caravan where they're selling the art of the news? No, I've no idea. It's just by there in Saturday. I and what was that sound to you? You like, you write comics and stuff, don't you? Hmm. Yeah, I just put a few of the paintings in, well, I don't know, if, do you recognize what this painting is? I've been doing, well, do you see, do you have any idea what that painting there is about, there? Mm. Well, it's not finished, I don't really quite define it, but it's, the constellations. Apocalypse. Well, oh, yeah, it's like the, like the, there's a, like the great bear and the sun, and the Draco. 
And that thing, I've been, I've been, uh, well, you probably, can you reckon, do you, have you any idea what this painting here is? Yeah, about? Last Supper. Yeah. It's been uh, my recent uh, idea is to try copying other paintings. I don't know, if you, have you heard of Hieronymus Bosch? Oh, you're, well, you're from, uh, mm. I know Hieronymus Bosch. Well, this is, this is based on one. This is sort of copying one of his famous paintings, uh, the Hay Wayne. I don't know if you know that. Uh, I've got, I probably had on my libraries a bit sort of, my filing system's not too, well, I don't know, I'll show them, I'll see if I can find the book, and, and all this stuff. I came here because they control of my ego and uh, yeah, that's the biggest main reason that I come here and I want to go out of Estonia because it's for me it's really racist country and it's uh, people is in there is really negative but they're also really good people and that's good. And uh, yeah, I wait to go back, but now I'm being here and take a look of this garden, like maybe one and maybe three months or something. Then I go travel, maybe come back, I don't know. Wanna be a man cub and scroll right into town and be just like the other men. I'm kind of monkeying around. Oh, dooby doo. Wanna be like you. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Wanna walk like you. Talk like you. Ooh, too. You see, it's true. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And ain't like me. Don't look to be like someone like you. Now, don't try to fool me, man cub. I made a deal with you. Give me the power, old man, red fly, so I can be like you. So come back, give me man cup. Man fly, that is a make my dream come true. <laughs> <laughs>